Now the question before us is the blood group of 30 students of class 8 are recorded as follows A, B, O, and so on. We represent this data in the form of frequency distribution table, which is the most common and which is the rarest blood group among these students. Now, in this question, it is given that there are many students in the class and the blood groups of all these students has been recorded. Now, we have been asked to form a frequency distribution table. Frequency distribution table means how many students have the particular type of blood group that is in respect of each blood group we are to count the number of students and to represent the same in the form of a table we just this is the question we are to do this now we will solve this question answer we will first write now here we have to form the frequency distribution table now we will discuss here right what is the meaning of frequency frequency is the number of students with the same blood group that is we will here find out how many students have a blood group how many students have b blood group we will form the same in the form of a table now these are the blood groups a b o and a b these are the four blood groups so we will here form the table the title will be blood group then will be tally that is the number of times a blood group is found in the students now here is the number of students it is also known as frequency this will be the columns of the table now how many blood groups are there there are a b o and a b and a b this is the table which we have formed and now One of the ways is while counting the students, we can verbally count that this is the one first student having A blood group, this is the second, this is third, this is fourth, this is five, this is six, this is seven, and so on. When we are counting the same verbally, it may happen that there may be some disturbance from our classmate, from the colleague, other student which is sitting beside us in the examination or the teacher who is in the examination hall may ask us to sign the attendance sheet or some other form of disturbance may be there and in the meanwhile we will forget how many times we have calculated or the number of times a particular students having the same blood group so we should not verbally count because we it will may result into wrong counting or we will forget how many times we have remembered or ultimately it will result into wastage of time so we should count the students manually by writing writing the same in the examination hall now we will count the number of students having a blood group while counting we may cut the particular blood group which we have counted now this is a we may write it 
this way one number then this we have counted this is another this is third this is third this is fourth this is fourth this is five now we instead of writing five next uh, in the form of straight line we will cut it so that we need not to count the same it will one two three four and this will be the five now this is the next sixth this is seventh this is eighth this is ninth so how many students have blood group a this is the nine frequency of blood group a is nine we can also say that the number of students having the blood group a are nine now we will count the number of students having blood group b this is b one number of student one two next this three four five this is six so the number of students having b blood group are six or we can say that the frequency in respect of blood group b is six next o o blood group one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve now what is the balance it is a b blood group let us count the same one two and three this were blood group o number of students were 5 5 10 plus 2 12 now here these are only 3 so now so far we have built frequency distribution table in respect of 30 students which were having different blood groups we have formed this frequency distribution table that is the number of students having a particular blood group now what is the another question which is written here which is the most common blood group most common blood group means when the persons or the students having the number of students having the particular blood group maximum number of students the maximum number of students have been found in the case of o this is the maximum numbers this is the minimum or rarest blood group this is the minimum number So first we will count, uh, write which is the most common blood group. Most common blood group is equal to blood group with highest frequency. This is the frequency, highest frequency. or we can also say that maximum number of students is equal to most common blood group is O 
maximum number of students are present in respect of blood group where the blood group o has been found are o these are this is the most common blood group o now the another is rarest blood group rarest blood group is where blood group with lowest frequency lowest frequency is in respect of ab lowest frequency or we can say that minimum number of students is equal to 3 we have written this here because if we shift to the next slide we will not be able to see the data which has been found by us in form of table so we have written this when you are writing in the exam you are to write this below the table so most common blood group is o and the rarest blood group is ab here we have to write note the number of students but blood group rarest blood group has been found is ab where the number of students are minimum we hope you will have understood how this table has been formed the students were given having the particular blood group we have to count each student which is having the particular blood group in the form of a table we are not to count the students verbally we have to count the students by writing the same in the form of a tally and then we have to sum up the same and this will be the frequency that is the number of students and when we form the table we can easily find out which is the most common and which is the rarest blood group thank now the question before us is the distance in kilometer of 40 engineers from their residence to their place of work was found as follows 5 3 10 20 and so on construct a group frequency distribution table with class size 5 for the data given above taking the first interval of as 0 to 5 5 not included what main features do you observe from this tabular representation what is the question first this is now the question is that there are 40 engineers in a particular organization and here the data in respect of the distance which they have to travel while going to office or workplace is mentioned one engineer is residing at 5 kilometers another is residing at 3 another is 10 20 and so on this is the distance which they have to travel while going to workplace each day and now on the basis of this distance which has been given we are to construct a group frequency distribution table that is we will not take that we will write that a is covering the distance of 5 km b is covering the distance of 6 c is covering the distance of 10 no we will form the grouped frequency distribution table that is we will form the group that is say from 0 to 5 km number of engineers are this the number of student uh, number of engineers who have to travel say 5 to 10 kilometers the numbers is this from 10 to 15 kilometers the number of engineers are this we will form the grouped frequency distribution table so now answer 
Now first we will have to form grouped frequency distribution table. We will have to form groups. So first for forming the group, we will have to find out which is the minimum distance a particular engineer has to travel and the maximum distance which a, an engineer might have to travel to go to office. So first we see minimum distance minimum distance is first we will see here 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 3 anything less than 3 this is 2 anything less than 2 2 no so we see the minimum distance is 2 and maximum distance might ask why we are mentioning maximum or minimum distance we are mentioning the same because on the basis of this distance we will form the groups or the intervals so the maximum distance is here it is 10 20 25 25 31 31 anything more than that this is 32 anything more more than 32 no so the maximum distance is 32. So now we will form the group frequency distribution table where 2 is covered and 32 is also covered. So this is written that class size is 5 and the first class interval is 0 to 5. So we take intervals as 0 to 5, 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and so on and up to we will take 30 to 35 because we will also have to cover the distance of 32 in the distribution table. So here we form the now form the grouped frequency distribution table. So how we will form? First we will write the distance in kilometers now we will also have to count the number of persons or the number of engineers who are traveling the particular distance so here we will only count tally so here we will actually mention the total of engineers which have to cover the particular distance so this is these are the columns which we have to form so first interval will be 0 to 5 then 5 to 10 then 10 to 15 15 to 20 20 to 25 25 to 30 and 30 to 35 these will be the groups. We will have to mention add these lines because if we do not mark these lines, the tally or what we write may merge with each other and we will not be able to arrive at particular conclusion. So here we have formed the intervals that is the distance which the engineers have to travel we have mentioned the same in groups that is all the engineers who have to travel say up to 5 kilometers will be mentioned here and all these engineers who travel from 5 to 10 kilometers will be mentioned in the next group so here it will be the tally and this will be the outer forming of the table now we it is to be remembered that when we are talking about 0 to 5 kilometers in this particular interval we will mention only those engineers who travel less than 5 kilometer and all the engineers who travel 5 or 
less than 10 will be mentioned in this. That is, 5 will not be counted in the first interval, 10 will not be counted in the second, 15 will not be counted in the 13th and so on. That is, this which is the highest interval in the particular group will not be counted. 5 will not be counted in this 10 because this is the convention that we will take here up to 5. That is, all the engineers who travel less than 5 will be counted here. 5 and above, but below 10 will be counted here. So, this is to be remembered because this is the convention by following. Because if we take the engineer who travels up to five, travel say 5 kilometers, we will take this and we will again take 5 kilometers here again. A particular engineer who travels 5 kilometers, then it will result into duplication. That duplication by way of say it is going on. We deal with it in such a way that we take it up to 5. We will not count 5. So now we will say this is the first engineer who travels 5 kilometers. It will be counted here and not here. Now this engineer travels 3 kilometers. It will be counted in this. This is the 10 kilometers. It will be counted here and not here. This is 20, it will be counted in this side, here which is the lowest and not the highest, highest will be not be considered, here 20 is taken, 25, 25 will be taken in this class interval, 11, 11 will be considered in this, 13, 13 will be considered in this, 7, 7 will be considered in this class interval, 12, 12 will be considered in this, 31, 31 will be considered in this, 30 to 35, 19, it will fall in between 15 and 20 class group, 12, 10, 10 is to be counted here and not here as already told, 12, 12 is to be counted here, 17, 17 is to be counted in this 15 to 20, 18, it will be again mentioned here, 11, it will fall 10 to 15, 32, last group, 17, it will fall 15 to 20, 16, it will fall 15 to 20, 2, it will fall in the first group, 7, it will fall in the second 5 to 10, 9, it will fall again in the same, 7, it will again fall in the same group, 8, it will again fall in the same group, 5 to 20 class interval, 3, it will be in the first class interval, 5, it will be in the second, 12, it will fall in the 10 to 15 range, 15, it will fall in the 15 to 20 range, 18, it will fall the class interval 15 to 20. 3, this will be in the first 0 to 5. 12, it will fall in 12 to 15 range. 14, it will be in the 10 to 15 class interval. 2, first class interval. 9, it will be in the second class interval 5 to 10, 6, it will be in the second class interval, 15, it will be in between 15 to 20, again it is 15, it will be again 15 to 20, 7, 5 to 10, 6, it will be again this, 
and 12 it will be here now we will count this is 5 this is 11 this is 11 15 to 20 5 plus 4 these are 9 20 to 25 the number of engineers who travel 20 to 25 are 1 the number of persons who travel between 25 to 30 are 1 and the number of engineers who have to travel the distance between 30 to 35 are 2 because we are to count the same this was 5 this was 5 plus 5 plus 1 5 plus 5 plus 1 5 plus 4 1 1 and 1 plus 1 2 so here we count the same because here it is written as these are the 40 engineers so now we will here also count so that we may see that the actually we have counted all the engineers 5 plus 11 16 27 36 37 38 38 plus 2 40 so we have counted all the engineers So now what is again we find that what main features do you observe from this tabular representation. Now we go through this table what is written here that the number of engineers who have to travel from 0 to 5 are 5, 5 to 10 are 11, 10 to 15 are also 11. So from this table we find, find that the maximum number of engineers have to travel the distance up to 15 kilometers. So, we observe that most of the engineers have their workplace at the distance of 0 to 15 kilometers. This is the 0, this is the 15 and the number of engineers are 20, 27. So, most of the engineers have their workplace at the distance of 0 to 15 kilometers from their houses or from their homes. That is, most of the engineers have to travel in between 0 to 15 kilometers. We also find that. This, these are the minimum figures 1, 1, 2. That is, here there are very few engineers who have to travel the distance in between 20 to 35. So, next second point which we find that there are very few engineers. whose residence is at the distance of 20 kilometer or more from the workplace. That is, we have observe two things that is maximum engineers have to travel only up to 0 to 15 kilometers and there are only a few engineers who have to travel 20 kilometers or more here we have been able to construct a grouped frequency distribution table we hope you might have understood this question very easily thanks for watching now the question before us is, 
द रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी इन परसेंटेज ऑफ ए सर्टेन सिटी फॉर ए मंथ ऑफ थर्टी डेज वॉज एज फॉलोज कंस्ट्रक्ट ए ग्रुप फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल विद क्लासेस एटी फोर टू एटी सिक्स एटी सिक्स टू एटी एट एंड सो ऑन ना वॉट इज गिवन फर्स्ट वी अंडरस्टैंड दिस क्वेश्चन दैट द रिलेटिव ह्यूमिडिटी ऑफ ए सर्टेन सिटी वॉज रिकॉर्डेड फॉर थर्टी डेज On one day it was 98.1, other day it was 98.6, and so on. That is the different humidity was on different dates. We have to construct a table which in which we have to show the number of times the particular humidity was there. We have to form the grouped frequency. That is, we are not to write each entry separately. We have to form it. Table in groups. That is, from the question we can say that in particular entry we will write all the days in which the relative humidity was in between eighty four to eighty six, and then in another group the number of days the relative humidity was eighty six to eighty eight. In this way we are to construct a grouped frequency distribution table. Now. Firstly, to form the intervals, we will have to find out the minimum relative humidity and the maximum relative relative humidity. So now we see minimum relative. Humidity is minimum ninety eight point one ninety eighty six anything eighty six eighty six less than eighty six eighty four point nine anything less than eighty four point nine no so the minimum relative humidity is eighty four point nine now we will find out the maximum relative humidity. maximum relative humidity now what is the maximum we will find out maximum 98.6 99.2 anything more than 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 99.2 no so the maximum relative humidity in the given table is 99.2 so we have so far calculated the minimum relative humidity and maximum relative humidity we have find out the same so now we have to form the tables which cover the minimum relative humidity as well as the maximum relative humidity so we take intervals or form intervals as 84 to 86 it will cover 84.9 84 to 86 86 to 88 88 to 90 that is we will add to each time 99 90 92 and so on up to the point Which covers ninety nine point two, so it will be ninety eight to hundred. So now we will form the table. So what is given to us is relative humidity. Relative humidity in percentage. so now we will have to count the relative humidity so here we will write tally then we will have to sum up the tally that is the number of days in which the relative humidity was falling in the particular class so here we will mention number of days 
or we can also call it frequency so now here we'll we will write the class intervals 84 to 86 86 to 88 88 to 90 90 to 92 92 to 94 94 to 96 96 to 98 98 to 100 up to 100 we will have to form the table so here it is the table before you which we are constructing in which we have taken three columns first is relative humanity second is tally where we will do counting and then at the last we will mention total of all the days so it is 84.86 so here we will do separate so that the entries may not merge with each other i have not been able to draw the lines in straight line but when you are appearing in the exam there may be lines on which you may draw the proper or because we are not having the proper system on which we can draw the lines so this is the table before you here this is the blank table which we have built here it will be total which will be count here so now we will find out first how many days the relative humidity was in between 84 to 86 no we will uh, take from the first entry 98.1 98.1 falls in this range here it 98 to 100 now the second entry is 98.6 it will also fall here 99.2 it will also fall here 90.3 90.3 will fall 90 to 92 86.5 86.5 will fall in between 86 to 88 95.3 it will fall here 94 to 96 92.9 it will fall here 92 to 94 96.3 it will fall here 96 to 98 94.2 it will fall here 94 to 96 95.1 it will fall 94 to 96 89.2 89.2 89.2 it will fall 88 to 90 92.3 92.3 it will fall in between 92 to 94 97.1 it will fall 96 to 98 93.5 it will fall here 92 to 94 92.7 it will fall 92 to 94 95.1 95.1 it will fall 94 to 96 97.2 97.2 it will fall in the class range of 96 to 98 now the next is 93.3 93.3 it will fall here we have counted 93.3 95.2 95.2 95.2 here 97.3 97.3 it will fall 96 to 98 96.2 96.2 96.2 it will fall 96 to 98 92.1 92.1 92.1 it will fall here 84.9 84.9 it will fall here 90.2 90.2 it will fall here 95.7 95.7 it will fall here 94 to 96 98.3 98.3 it will fall here 
so as a matter of convention we do not take the entry of 86 in the first group but in the second group where it is the lowest that is we do not count the entry on the higher end here in the first class interval we will take any entry up to 86 that is any entry which is from 84 to less than 86 in the same way when we come to the other group we will count all the entries where the relative humidity is 86 to 88 that is 86 to less than 88 and so on so now here we will count the relative humidity was in between 84 to 86 only for one day and then it was 86 to 88 only for one day 88 to 90 for two days it was 90 to 92 for two days and then between 92 to 94 relative humidity was for seven days then the relative humidity was in between 94 to 96 for 5.5 plus 1 it was for six days then relative humidity was 96 to 98 between 96 to 98 that is less than 98 but 96 or more than that but up to 98 that is less than 98 it was seven then the relative humidity was between 98 and up to 100 it was for four days then we will count 1 one 2 6 13 19 26 4 30 that is we have counted the number of days from here to here it means that we have counted all the entries and no entry has been left out so so far we have constructed the grouped frequency distribution table where the minimum relative humidity was 84.9 and the maximum was 99.2 so now another question which is here is which is month or season do you think this data is about here from this data we find out that the relative humidity we find that relative humidity is very high in the given data here what is given in the data the relative humidity is very high as humidity is absorbed to be high during the rainy season so the data is about any season 
we may add that the relative humidity at any particular city or in a particular location depends upon the weather of that area. We are here talking only about the in normal circumstances if such type of data is given then from this data we observe that the relative humidity is high as the relative humidity is high during the rainy season. So this data is about the rainy season. Now the next point is which is third what is that which what is the range of this data to find out the range of the data range of data we will have to sum up the maximum value of data and minimum value of data and we will have to range of data we will have to read cancel uh, subtract the minimum value from the maximum value so first we will write the maximum value of data and from that maximum value we will subtract the minimum value of data Suppose the range is say 0 to 5, we will say that 5 minus 0, the range is 5. If we say that the range is 5 to 10, we will reduce 5 from 10 and the range will be 10 minus 5, 5. In the same way, when the range of data is here given, we will first find out which is the minimum range, minimum data and what is the maximum value of data. Here the maximum value of data which we had count find out was the 99.2 so this is the maximum value of data and what was the minimum value of data minimum value of data was 84.9 so here it will be the range of the data which we will get after deducting 84.9 from 99.2 so it is 14.3 when we subtract 84 point from 99.2 so this is the range of the data in which this data is coming into by now you have find out that if the relative humidity of many days is given how to construct grouped frequency distribution table and to which season this particular data belongs and we can find out the range of data by finding out the maximum value of data and minimum value of data and then we will deduct the minimum value of data from the maximum value of data and we will arrive at the range of data. Thanks for watching. If you like our course, please spare some time to give a star rating to our course.